Ouais, voilà, vous êtes mieux comme ça, plus, plus rapproché, peut-être même à la limite juste au milieu, c'est parfait. Bonjour à tous. Bienvenue, c'est la dernière conférence. De... So, welcome to this uh, very last uh, conference, uh, very last day of Equip Auto Lyon. This very first edition, in particular during the two first days, we have uh, plenty of visitors. We shall provide you with the uh, figures either tonight or, or, to, or tomorrow. But uh, remember that we have had uh, 605 um, exhibitors uh, and brands. So uh, I hope that you have had uh, the opportunity to go around uh, the uh, exhibition and visit uh, the different villages, including, including the uh, bodywork uh, village, the reusable uh, village, the startup village, the tire village, knowing that tires have been invented 130 years ago, and then you have the uh, second-hand vehicle or used car uh, village. So Equipoto is a rich, I mean, um, event with a lot of information. And then you have the conference uh, area where we can think before you invest or think about the training uh, needs. This is what we have been talking about just before this conference. And now it's time for us to talk about uh, car washes. And the title is a development under constraints. And for that, we have um, the, uh, so in the middle you have, in fact, Guillaume Chaya. Uh, you represent a company uh, that provides, in fact, uh, e-banking for the cash, uh, for the uh, car, uh, car wash uh, centers. Then Daniel Ryu, you are the uh, commercial director of Erto well known in the area of car, car wash, and Johan, you are the original sales director uh, for WashTech. Wash tech. And you are part of uh, the uh, exhibitors. You are present, uh, well represented, in fact, in the, the different uh, shows uh, in France and in Germ uh, and um, worldwide. Yes, we're well known, not just in Europe, but also worldwide. Now, back to the to car wash as such, uh, we are under uh, ecological constraints, and we know that uh, this is a business that is uh, uh, developing, the market is growing, but there are a number of constraints because it is being blamed, blamed uh, for uh, uh, water consumption, for energy consumption, uh, public authorities, local authorities tend to um, uh, to restrict the operation and some of the uh, car wash stations have even been closed. Now, your business is also, um, uh, uh, let's say, uh, limited by number of uh, frameworks. You have to, uh, you resort to uh, electronic uh, banking systems, but this can also be an opportunity. Now, the crucial question is how you are going as a sector uh, innovate in order to cope with the or to abide by the uh, regulations and at the same time maintain the profitability of the various players so maybe we can talk about uh, the extent to which uh, washing is very important in particular washing uh, in wa uh, car wash stations as opposed to washing your car at home well first of all we carried out uh, uh, surveys or, and studies on uh, car washes. If you wash in a center, you remove uh, 360 grams of uh, uh, mud uh, that contain pollutants, uh, including mercury. So we have always been fighting uh, to uh, ensure uh, safety, I mean health and safety, and uh, if you wash at home, you are likely to pollute, and uh, therefore we are not uh, very happy with the wash stations being closed. Well, I would agree with uh, Damien. I think uh, for the public at large, it would be important uh, for them to have an idea of uh, the car wash stations consume in terms of water on a daily basis. 30 centiliters 
of uh, water per inhabitant, which means that car wash, it's just uh, like, in fact, a glass of water per inhabitant per day, So this, which remains a limited quantity. And this glass of water, it's not just uh, to make uh, the vehicles look nice, uh, shiny, it's also to depollute the uh, fleet of cars. So the pollution is necessary. And if you were to wash uh, at home, you're going to uh, um, pollute the water tables. All these heavy metals are going to be, can, to be in fact, uh, polluting the uh, water table. So that's the reason why it's important to have your car washed and uh, car wash stations. What about uh, uh, the health crisis. Uh, I remember that some of the car washes have been cro have been closed. Yes, uh, one of the department, like uh, La Creuse, they have closed uh, uh, some of the uh, car wash stations. Well, uh, and we think that, um, well, it seems that uh, the law is not the same across uh, the French territory. In some regions, and the decisions are taken to uh, close uh, wash stations, and we don't know how to react. We are resorting to high pressure, and high pressure water is difficult to uh, to recycle. And uh, yes, uh, uh, the car wash unit, car wash unit, is uh, some of the solutions suggested by uh, manufacturers. So do you think it is uh, a good idea? Well, we would be, uh, that is about using uh, hot water, the results expected uh, have to be perfect, uh, and um, your customer is not going to invest uh, uh, 100,000 euros in your recycling system if the activity cannot be uh, continued or could be con discontinued by the region. So, and we're uh, resorting to a, a high pressure um, water. So, and we are fighting uh, to save uh, water, uh, and uh, before even we talk about recycling that water. Johan, in your offer. You have a portal here and a wash unit. So, what are the type of customer uh, questions? Sorry, asked by the customer, and what are your answers? Well, let's say that um, in terms of uh, recycling, there is no uh, rule defined clearly by the state. Uh, WashTech is a German manufacturer, and. Uh, Recycling is subject of uh, standards and rules. They uh, do they all have recycling units. Uh, well, whenever you start uh, off in, on a given project uh, to wash, uh, I mean to establish a car wash, then you would have to a recycling station. So uh, I don't have the figures, but you have an additional equipment to. Pro so and. Uh, uh, for recycling, uh, they have at, uh, up to 3,500 recycling centers, and in France it's very limited. We are not against innovation, we are not against the environment, we are not against change. But there are questions that need to be raised. First of all, we need to know the rules of the game, what should be recycled or not. For the portal, so it's, it's uh, comparatively easy to recycle. And then the issue of high pressure, is it possible to recycle uh, uh, you know, high pressure uh, water, uh, hot water, uh, with the use of detergents? Well, in certain cases, uh, regional authorities tend to say things which are the contrary of what the prefect would like to have. So, and uh, between different uh, prefects, the RT, I mean the decrees they have adopted uh, in certain cases are different. And, uh, well, having a recycling system does not guarantee that uh, your business will be successful, even if this can help. So, 
And then there is a permanent link to high pressure. With high pressure, the user is close to, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, I mean, the hose, and uh, with uh, water sprinkling, uh, uh, I mean, in the neighborhood. Now, so we have to, well, have things evolve in the right direction and guarantee to our customers something that is really sustainable uh, in the long term. Daniel, you would rather have a sort of a, gay, a, 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 a limit, uh, that is to say, beyond a certain, uh, or below a certain, let's say, um, number of uh, vehicles, then recycle will not be necessary. So even the northern countries, uh, while well, they are ahead of us uh, in certain aspects, but uh, uh, recycling is not uh, required everywhere. What is important, in fact, is to start from the most important thing, which is health. And what I would like, um, you know, in fact, you have the system that would uh, uh, separate uh, substances and uh, and the water treatment uh, s station. Uh, well, they need to uh, send us, in fact, recycled water, which we can use for our work, uh, wash stations. In that case, uh, we would have a similar type of water in uh, used for car wash, and uh, you have the different uh, nosocomial uh, uh, diseases, you know, those which you catch uh, uh, in, in, in hospitals. Well, Erto is resorting to low pressure water, and your commercial uh, argument is that, in fact, uh, you do save it out of uh, water. Yes, that's uh, uh, a reality, because, in fact, uh, we're using a sort of a foam which is active on the car, and we are just using water at uh, low pressure. So, but wherever you use 27 liters or 60 liters, for a given car, the problem is the same. So we are in that sector, and we are trying to use as little water as possible with low pressure. Johan, uh, uh, well, uh, we have nobody from Mobilians, uh, and, uh, but the public authorities, are they turning towards uh, one of the solutions as opposed to the other? Well, in the car wash uh, sector, uh, well, it is difficult for us to get our voice heard. In fact, the profession w was not uh, war particularly organized, particularly structured, and the reason is that they had not been facing uh, specific problems. But uh, the decision to restrict uh, water consumption, this has helped uh, the profession to uh, the different uh, I mean, players to join together. Uh, Mobilians is one of those uh, uh, associations, and um, what is important is to uh, really get together, to get our voice uh, heard, even uh, while if you uh, think about uh, the different operators, I mean, those who manufacture the systems, those who are actually operating, and uh, so on and so forth. So this means a lot of uh, people, I mean, quite a large number of entities. Well, well, in operation, I uh, assume that uh, you, you can, you, you do make money, it is profitable, and even during the COVID uh, time, and in spite of the increase of prices, including uh, the price of water, price of energy, and even, in fact, uh, having higher prices, then final customers are still coming. Yes, uh, uh, in fact, uh, things have been evolving. My colleague will certainly be talking about the bank card. And, um, and uh, you know, this uh, helps a lot. Uh, and uh, the systems have improved. Uh, and uh, uh, everybody 
uh, does take advantage of the uh, uh, e-banking. And uh, there was a specific financial law uh, dating back to 2018. So discussion started uh, in 2018 and then was uh, closed. Uh, well, maybe the issue of recycling, uh, which we are debating today, might be something of the past uh, by next year. So for small companies uh, like us, this uh, so-called financial act uh, really is a problem for us to, to cope with. Well, then moving to um, Carta 10, they, you propose a connected uh, banking services and uh, just uh, we are just uh, uh, showing the picture. Maybe you can explain. We are specialized in the means of payments, and we apply these systems to different markets, uh, integrating uh, the bank payment, I mean, this type of payment systems in car uh, washes. So this is something that started uh, something like 10 years ago, and gradually and increasingly, we're trying uh, to uh, also uh, make sure that uh, accessories, uh, uh, you know, not just uh, I mean the payment systems should be available not only in the uh, portals, and uh, well, of course, if you have a, um, a box or a machine that would uh, give you, you back your, let's say, change, fine. But uh, people are not used uh, to the to the cards. In France, uh, the public is used uh, to resorting to the uh, bank card, even without any contact, uh, where you don't have to key in your uh, PIN number. Well, and uh, the 2018 uh, legislation you referred to has imposed traceability. So for us to meet that requirement, uh, a, t a payment system has to trace all the prof uh, all the transactions in order to avoid people trying to escape paying the VAT. So, for car wash uh, uh, centers, it is important to have those devices, and um, and uh, specific developments have been made, and. Uh, and to make sure that, in fact, uh, our system responds or rather meets the legislation requirement. Well, your ch choice was to develop your own software. Well, we have uh, uh, created what is, is uh, what we call center pay. We've acted in such a way that our, all our machines are connected to a cash system um, and um, everything is traced. Well, and uh, this is uh, supplemented by audits being carried out every year, so it's uh, quite painful. So you have to make sure that we abide by the standards uh, every year. Well, you told me that uh, with this constraint, you found out that there is also an opportunity, that is to attract new uh, customers with an investor profile. Whether uh, you use Carta Dis or other tools, I think uh, they can certify themselves. I mean, our uh, customers can certify themselves, and uh, we have new types of customers, young customers. They are 20 to 30 years of age. They. Uh, borrow a large amount of money to start their businesses, and they would like uh, to amortize all of that. Uh, and uh, with traceability, this is something that is of uh, uh, great interest for the banks, uh, for the accountants. Uh, so whether it be on the machines or for payment purposes, we have always been facing constraints, and we have been able so far to overcome such constraints. I think that our tool today is uh, also looks nice. Yes, I, I would say that this system is perfect uh, for somebody who is not operating uh, and present on the site. Well, the automatic cash desks uh, have to be connected. 
we do have a network for payment machines. The internal internet systems consolidate all the operations so that the operator can rem remotely, in fact, uh, uh, assess or monitor the profitability of the uh, of the uh, uh, wash station. So uh, they're resorting to uh, the internet of objects uh, and uh, such uh, similar technologies. You have also been introducing innovations, and uh, I shall illustrate that with the following picture. That's a payment uh, terminal. I hope that this one is still uh, relevant. Yes, it's, uh, it looks like uh, well, a drink dispenser. Uh, and uh, you make it uh, as user-friendly as possible. Yes, with the automatic cash desk, there is nobody to guide, I mean, the, the, uh, the customers. So therefore, we have to think about the customer experience, so that if the customer is, uh, I mean, since he's going to be alone in front of the machine, that he should be able to use it without uh, asking himself too many questions, uh, being quick at paying and to avoid, I mean, people having to queue. So cash um, systems have to be, have to be simple, use, easy to use, and we know that we are touching a wide range of uh, uh, people, categories of people, and uh, we have to adapt to that. Well, indeed, there are different uh, uh, systems, uh, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, to induce uh, loyalty among customers. And, uh, and I think that uh, resorting to the card without uh, contact or using your mobile phone to pay, all of that is uh, quite something that sounds attractive for the customers. And in your case, you also have the QR, QR code, and if you flash it, then you get your invoice at home. Yes, with the various uh, uh, regulations in France, uh, for example, uh, 21st of August uh, 2023, the piece of legislation uh, obliges uh, cash operators, cash desk operators, to ask the customer uh, whether they want uh, their invoice to be printed out or not. And the French government uh, would like to use that process in order to uh, dematerialize uh, the uh, tickets. Yes, that's in fact a part of the eco um, a circular economy process. It has been slow to come, but uh, it has been in, in force uh, since uh, uh, August 2023. 20, so in our case, uh, with the QR code, uh, the um, uh, invoice is in fact uh, automatically transferred to the customer um, mail. So we increasingly see people using what is known as pay leave, pay leave on their smartphone. So this uh, well, looks like um, bank payment. Or, in fact, the payment, the cash desk needs to have a, a bank terminal connected so that, based on our statistics, 40% of transactions are done using a card, the card, but without contact, any contact. So 5% of payment with the mobile. And the, well, it could be a smartphone or connected watch. You know, all these technologies are constantly gaining ground. Well, what about the uh, payment terminals? Uh, uh, all of these uh, terminals are evolving constantly. Well, in fact, uh, as of today, I would say it would be difficult for you to find any uh, wash, car wash uh, uh, center, in fact, without such uh, payment systems, if you really want your business to continue to grow. The next uh, of this uh, question, uh, Uh, and um, I would like to ask the following questions. Can't your payment system easily be plugged in so that you can, in fact, uh, start the washing uh, process, I mean, automatically by connecting? Well, uh, we are specialized in e-banking, and you have to adjust to the uh, 
equipment. We need to have universal interfaces. It helps us to sell our product to large groups, including the oil companies. They, for example, would like to have just one supplier, I mean, cash desk supplier, that would be compatible. Well, you are well known in the uh, e-banking world because you have been selected by Total, Total, you know, the oil company, to provide the payment system. Yes, uh, there was a call of, uh, for a tender in France. We uh, won it. In fact, they wanted to replace their wash uh, car wash centers uh, over a period up to 2024 so it represents a fleet so to speak of uh, 3000 uh, car wash systems so what would be your uh, best argument to promote your business well i would say that uh, as of today the car wash market is evolving that's a fact and whether you own a hydrogen car, a hybrid car, there will still be a fleet of vehicles to wash. And that's what also, I mean, the tire manufacturers are saying. And uh, the fleet is uh, still expanding. And, and this explains why, I mean, the car wash market is also expanding. And it's also getting more and more professional. In any case, it remains necessary. Daniel, four million car owners, are they all friends to you? Are they all satisfied? Well, uh, well I would like to refer to one of your uh, innovations. Well, because we are also interested in other sectors like the electric vehicles. We are, in fact, uh, creating uh, a system um, to be used with the uh, automatic, uh, or, or I mean, you, you know, your charge systems. So, you know, the cables uh, uh, and uh, and we know that the, the plugs are, are very expensive, and um, uh, if it is destroyed by uh, the tires of the vehicle, so we would have a system that would wind automatically uh, uh, the, the wires. And um, so, in fact, this is very important for companies because they would like to have the uh, Richard Outlets, uh, we did that with uh, EDF, uh, the French uh, Electricity Board, and uh, we are also involved in various uh, projects in cooperation with INEDIS, and uh, so we are very much interested in that uh, sector also. I would have thought that to have a recharging station near a car wash would be strange. Yes, you have car wash stations which have charging stations, also with vacuum cleaners so that while you're recharging you can vacuum the interior. Thank you. I suggest that you meet our speakers on stand L190, L209, forgot the Ds, and uh, wash tech. Yeah. Thank you, and I wish you an excellent lunch and an excellent afternoon at Ekiputu.